This video will demonstrate how to manually install Microsoft SQL Server 2019 and create a new access portal database. In this video we will cover the following steps. Manually installing SQL Server 2019. Configuring SQL Server Configurations Manager. Manually installing and configuring SQL Server Management Studio version. Creating a new blank access portal database. Step 1. Installing SQL Server 2019. To begin, ensure you have downloaded the Access Portal software from the Impro website as well as SQL Server Management Studio from Learn Microsoft. To begin, navigate to your Access Portal ISO file, open the Dependencies folder, and run the SQL application. Select New SQL Server Standalone Installation. Accept the license agreement, then select Next. SQL will attempt to check for updates, once it completes select Next. Uncheck all machine learning services and select Next. Select default instance then Next. Select Next on server configurations. Select mixed mode authentication, enter the password master key and confirm the password, then select Next. Let the installation run through, this may take a few minutes, once it completes select Next. Once the installation completes you can close this window. Step 2. Setting up SQL Server Configurations Manager. Begin by navigating to your SQL Server Configurations Manager from the Start menu. Navigate to your SQL Server Network configuration where you will see the SQL service you set up in Step 1. Right click on TCP IP and choose Enable. Right click again and select Properties. Navigate to IP Addresses tab and enter the port 1433 under each TCP port. Click OK to save. For the changes to take effect you will need to restart the portal service. Navigate to your services window from the start menu. Navigate the list to your SQL server. Note the instance name, right click and select restart. Step 3. Installing SQL Server Management Studio version. Navigate to your downloaded SQL Server Management Studio installer and open. Select Install. Allow the installation to run through. Select Close when the installation finishes. Step 4. Configuring SQL Management Studio and creating the portal database. Navigate to SQL Management Studio from the Start menu. Log in using Windows Authentication for first-time use. Navigate to the Security tab. Right-click Logins and select New Login. Enter the login name SYSDBA. Select SQL Server Authentication and enter the password master key. Enter master key again to confirm. Deselect Enforce Password Policy. Click OK to save. Next right click on Databases and select New Database. Enter the database name portal. Select the database owner by clicking the three dots. Select Browse and then choose the SYSDBA user. Click OK to save and see the database created under the Databases tab. To test the database has been configured correctly. Log out of SQL and log back in using SQL Server Authentication. Enter your new SYSDBA and master key details. If the login is successful you can close Management Studio and continue with Portal. And that concludes this video. Thank you for watching.